Good morning, good morning, and once again, here we are, day 11 on the Cape Wrath Trail. I didn't seem to have come that much. I'm actually going to here, so I'm well over half. So I'm going from here to here. Fort William's here, but I'm not walking that section, so I'm basically in the next two days should get me down to Shield Bridge. And then from Shield Bridge, it's just a, a hop across. And today is the 22nd, so I've got eight days. Um, this is where I stayed last year, where Peter and I were hanging out in here, which is cool. And it was just as wet as it was last year. It's actually more drizzly, as you can see uh, today. Um, just actually camped up there. They only take three pitches and they will not let you stay here um, in user facilities unless you're actually inside the campsite for liability reasons, I said, which I have no I do not understand in the slightest what that means. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, this is cool. So I'm just going to head off to Strathcarn and if luck pushes it, I might be able to catch a train at Ashna Shellish and just avoid that NC500 road for about four miles, five miles, instead of trying to get myself killed and I'll be happy with that. So I'm just going to go quick toilet, come back and uh, be on my, actually I'll just take the stuff with me. Um, quick toilet, be on my way and let's go. So this guy is actually very, very fast. I just met him here at the Kinloch U uh, service station. We're having breakfast. And how many days has it taken you to get from Fort William to here? From Saturday, so five days. Five, five days. And um, next to me there's the Cape Wrath Ultra people here, the response team. And I think there was 100 and, 160 runners or 170 runners? 172 and then I think And I think they're down to 90. So, uh, 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 the last count I heard last night. So they've lost about 80. So you're from Mannheim? Yes, and from you've, the flat indeed. And you've enjoyed it so far? Mm. So far, not the day yesterday. Not yesterday, yeah. but... It was exhausting. But the weather's the, been the, good for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no midges. No, no midges. midges at all. No midges at all. Yeah. Uh, well, I wish you the best for your uh, final journey there, man, Peter. Nice. Well, finally, late start, 10 o'clock. I'm only going to Strathcarn and hopefully Ashna Shelley Station. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Once again, Ken like you, thank you for another rainy day. Uh, unfortunately, no Ben A, no point. And uh, last night, man, that uh, the wind was steadily blown. It was like gusts blown through probably 15, 20 to maybe 20 mile an hour easy. But um, it's a uh, Nice easy stretch actually today for most of the way. It's all along four before tracks. Make a change for the last few days. And I'm very conscious of the fact that this is a place where I got uh, blisters, so I'm going to take it easy, going to cross up this road to get to killing. So this is part of the NC 500, which means the North Coast 500 is only 10 miles to Torridon Mountains. Some of the most glorious mountains in Scotland. And Loch Carran is 31. So, it's good. But uh, the wind is from the north again. Unusual. It seems to have switched around. Not only is it a south prevailing wind, but uh, I've been lucky yesterday. It's all the waterproofs on. It's not waterproof, it's not rainy yet, but We'll see how long it takes to get too hot before I have to take his jacket off. But um, all is good. So yeah, let's go and see how today turns out. Don't know how much of any photographs will be today or who we might meet. Met that nice gentleman Peter there, it was cool. And the guy in the gas station remember me from last year. I must have one of those. Oh yeah, that. Really loud mouth Scots guy with a bald head and a broken nose from Seattle. <laughs> Probably stand out quite a bit, I guess. Okay, folks, let's go. And unfortunately, the cafe, which I was planning to eat, doesn't open until May 29th. May 29th, folks. But the stag was open last night and the guy took over there about a year and a half ago. Very nice chap, McClelland. Shout out to him and his staff. Very good and a cook. Awesome food. Had a three course meal last night. Cullen skink. Haggis, sneeps and tatties. Apple crumble. 
two packs of lager, gin and tonic, and uh, whiskey. <laughs> I'm on vacation, folks. I'm on vacation. Benny, unfortunately, is not going to happen again this year. It is completely socked in. No point going up there when it's socked in and the weather was calling for high winds. Tonight gets a bit better tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. So this is the NC500 road. You get people come up here like nuts. So uh, just have to watch myself for um, not getting uh, run over. They might even turn the uh, volume down so you can hear traffic like that. Don't even slow down passing you. Anyway, let's go see if we can get the train act to Shellish at 20 past 3, I believe the time is. Um, I left it 10, it's like it's five and a half hours. And I don't think it's that far. So we shall see. Okay, okay, out. Just up this road here for a few miles. And um, quite a few miles. And uh, we turn off, avoid going through this boggy, boggy, boggy section. No point. So, uh, yeah, let's see how these guys go here. And we'll come up here and uh, get some people uh, being nice and slowing down for you, which is good. Welcome to Scotland, first rainy day walking. Yoo -hoo! Cool. So uh, that was an hour and ten minutes from the queue to here. I'm going to go to McCullen. And from McCullen, I'll just head straight to um, Strathcarn. It's quick. This is a bunch of people out. So this is the. Uh, yeah, Ben A is still. I mean, it may have been passable, but they were calling. Um, oh, see if that raises now. I'll be really annoyed. <laughs> now, the weather forecast was calling for really heavy rain today you know and uh, I don't want to, people advise me says even if the weather's bad if you can't see the mountain top don't go up it's just that it won't be worth it so that's why I'm taking the same path as I did the last time this is a bit annoying but anyway I know that this was a nice path and I didn't the, the, the actual trail comes up through the woods which is boggy as hell Peter from Germany there I met uh, I can't believe it, Peter. Well done, buddy. Fort William to kid like you in freaking five days. That's just nuts. Um, although one of his strides is uh, two of mine. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, he went through there. He said it was absolutely torturous. He says he was horrible, depressed walking through the woods. Um, but the path goes up there and he just drops back down and joins this road. It's like, sure. But I mean, honestly. I'm actually seeing if I could catch the train, as I mentioned earlier. I think it's at 20 past three, and I've got eight, just over eight miles. And I have, yeah, I've got four hours. So, on average, two miles per hour. And the track's basically like this. So, I should be fine. And, um, me and my big feet's fine walking through here. Mind you, if you do slip through one of those cattle grades, you're going to break your ankle. Yeah, so it's a tarmac road and then it's onto a forest road and it goes through the Cullen Estates which is super like the Cullens as in Sky. I thought it was Cullen but it's Cullen the guy told me last year. And actually you know now I look at these clouds here this might have been okay but you never know in Scotland. You know one minute it could be like this then the next minute it just sucks in and gets absolutely hammers down. I'm not saying you want to be down and it's caught up with bloody Benny and it's hammering down. But, this is a nice walk, and I'm happy, and I'm happy, and look, here we go, what's that the sign post for folks, you get that in America, as a child, in puberty, we always thought that was a female lying down and that was her breasts, <laughs> okay, it is a, a lovely estate we're about to walk through here, I was actually very impressed with this estate last year.
step really young we go he'll for heel and toe and toe arm and arm and row and row all for Marie's wedding just walking along the uh, road into the Killing Estate here next to one of the locks Pretty, huh? Just come up to a bridge up here. That'll take us in. These old Scots pines. Hard to believe this whole area was covered with these. That's, uh, yeah, that's Ben A, where she should have been this morning. Around the back of it, and they eventually came away back around there, so. Good call, good call again, Ian. Pity though, because the views up there are stunning. But right, I'm saying, so I haven't been up there since the 80s. 70s, 80s, 70s? Maybe even 70s actually when I think about it. Yeah, I've not been up there since the 70s. And here's the bridge I was telling you about. Should be a signpost up here on the left if memory serves me right. Uh-huh. One thing I do have is a good picture memory. Holiday homes. It's the Coolins, spelled, spelled different. Sky, but pronounced the same. So it's a Coolins, a C U I L L I N S. The Sky is a C O U L I N. Cullen. I thought it was Coolins, Cullen. Coolins, Cullen. house would do me perfectly. I'd love to have this house. Look at this. Absolutely charming. <coughs> what do you think here, Amanda? The gate cottage. I guess that's where the ghillie would stay. And then up here on the left is the actual Killens Estate Lodge. And the rhododendrons are out. It's a pretty walk. I remember last year there was some sort of disturbance and the water couldn't figure out what it was. Quite interesting coming in this time of the year. Things are just about to start blossoming. And the ferns are all still low. Yeah. It's quite amazing. Got an amazing little picture of a robin this morning. Sitting on the seat right next to me having a bacon roll I was. Cool. Yeah, it's sort of cleared up a little bit. Well, no. Silly. You can't even see Benny now. And the winds were quite howling there quite a bit, so yeah, they were calling for 20 30 mile an hour winds in the mountains. So, c'est la vie, but uh, a nice easy, nice easy day today, I have to admit, it's nice. Last, uh, I think, almost every day, for, as far as I can remember, there's been steep climbs and pathless, boggy. Uh, or maybe not boggy, rocky or whatever, but uh, this uh, hill I've got today is actually quite clear. You can see the pass up there. Uh, it's just a gentle slope up to the top. It's called the Killen Pass. Killen's Pass. Actually an old donkey trail, I think, is what they said if I remember on the other side. Um, but they're making good time. It's, uh, it's 
25 past 12. I think I'll get to the Achnashelly station around about 2.30. I think it trains at 3.15, so I can have a wee break there. Um, and uh, everybody who's came up, everybody who's came up the NC500 road from Strathcarn to the Killings Pass, if they came that way, has said, Jesus, that road is dangerous as hell, dangerous, dangerous. So, you know what I could have done actually, instead of spending the money for a hotel, I could have just actually walked up to the bloody boss, it just dawned on me. Oh, I should have, just remember, I could have got off the train. I just walked up the glen to the both. I stayed there overnight and then came back. Save me some money. Well, at least I got a beer this way, I guess. Dessert. I'm on vacation. Come on. Plus, I did some contracting work before I left. And uh, the USA. Which is really interesting stuff. It's fun work, actually. So, I've got a, a paycheck coming in this month. <laughs> a paycheck. That's pretty good. Everybody's good. Good money. Paid for all this trip. So here we go, Killing Pass. Still amazing, you can't even see Benny. Crazy, crazy. Okay, nothing much, apart from the old Scots Pines. Okay. Wow, wild horses. Hello, came galloping up to see me there. Hello. Oh, there's another one there. Hey, gorgeous. Wow, I never even saw that, I just heard her. Did you hear that? I never saw the other one back there. That's funny. It's another beautiful glade of old Scots pine. Crazy, beautiful. Beautiful trees. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So nice to see them all back again. Wow. I mean, when this had been covered in these trees, it would have looked like fine gone forest from Lord of the Rings. You could just imagine one of these looks like tree beard. It actually do look like ants. Super, super, super looking trees. Getting towards the uh, top of the Keelan Pass now. You know, probably a mile, I think. Um, could track this. Came away from around there. Um, yeah, really good four before track. Um, I think when you get to the top up here, uh, it uh, flattens out and you can pass a, a couple of lakes, little lockings where it drops down. Um, this section very much reminds me of um, the General Wade Road from uh, Inver Inverannan that the, the uh, drovers in up to the uh, sort of heights of Crane Larrick there. It's very similar. Very similar. I'm oh, glad the wind was on my back. Now uh, that's me at the top of the Killing Pass. Uh, that was uh, basically 3 hours 15 minutes elapsed from uh, Kinloch Hugh, looking back. It's about three hours walking. I've actually well ahead of schedule. We'll get to the railway station for two o'clock, about an hour before the train, an hour and 15 minutes before the train comes. So, nice to have a little break someplace. So uh, that's me back at the point on the track here, where you'll take the trail to wind all the way down through there to Craig, a place called Craig. And then you're basically going up through that today, which is misty and miserable. Uh, so yeah, so it's just back to Shelley Station, should be down here about less than two miles. And it's uh, half past one, and I believe it's twenty past three it comes, so I will definitely be able to have a, have a rest. This is the Rights of Way, Scottish Society, public footpath to Craig. By the, this is the old pony pack trail here. Slight drizzle coming on. I think it's just mist though. Gonna go down here to Ackney Shelley Station. I'm looking forward to boarding the train here. 
Because I can't remember if it's you wave it down or you press a button to, to tell them to stop. It's something like that. Here's a better image of, um, see if we can zoom this in. There's a better image of uh, the trail you would walk up the other side there. It's looking down towards Loch Car in the way the distance there. And Strathcarran is at the end of this lock here, just before, actually, the second lock down there is just the, that's where we're going. It's about seven mile hike if you are to go on the road. But I just checked online since I had a signal, and sure enough, 1521 arrives, platform one. There really is one platform, which is quite a laugh. Um, at the So, which is just down this hill. I'll just be able to sit and have a, two sausage rolls I bought from the uh, the guy that runs the uh, gas station. I forgot to ask his name again. What an idiot. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, it's all good. I just filled up with water and I got wee midges. So the wee midges are out, the wee annoying ones. No surprise, this is prime midgey weather by the way. So, this could be bad news uh, for, uh, for those who are mean. Yeah, this could be bad news for uh, folk up at Malbui. That Malbui Bothy looks phenomenal, by the way. Good job, guys. Oh, these mist colored mountains. Gorgeous. Cool, I just came out the um, down off the, the path there. You can see the lovely rhododendrons here. And the uh, station is just down this little track here. And um, uh, currently the time is uh, it's quarter past two. So I've got an hour. So I can actually do a little brew up, have a sausage roll, a cup of coffee on the platform while I wait. And here, above, here ahead of me is the gates for the railway station and you might find this quite quaint I thought it was quaint last year and uh, I'm glad actually this is going to work out just timing serendipity as I say a lucky accident no planning for this ahead of time really thought there might be a train around about now but it turned out there is a private level crossing stop Always telephone before crossing with vehicles or animals. Wow. Well, I know this time to cross. Welcome to Achna Shellish Railway Station, folks. How about this? How cool is this? Please buy your ticket from on train staff. Good. This is a request. So, to, so to request the train to stop, make yourself visible in plenty of time, four feet from the edge of the platform. Hold out your hand. <laughs> Are you serious? To request the train to stop, make yourself visible in plenty of time, four feet from the edge of the platform. So the train comes around the corner slowly and you wave to it and it slows down and stops. That's unbelievable. Mind the gap. I guess that's where I go in here. Hey, we've got a waiting. We've got a waiting room. This is cute, right? Look at the rhododendrons. Superb. Brew time! I can hear it coming. Here it comes. Yeah. 
I wonder what it was there, man. Aye. What's a big stick? <laughs> eh? Yeah. I'd probably. Thanks, mate. Oh, that's better. Thanks a lot, man. Oh! Jesus. I'm just going down to Strathcarn. Strathcarn, no worry. But... I must do you. I'll just get you two things wrong. Okay. Oh, it's empty. Oh, man. That's wicked. Wicked. The Chanty Scott here, man. He had a good chat was in Inverness also. Went to school near where my uncle lived up in the Crown area. Who was the internet? Was Inverness? Hi. No, I was in Nurnik Academy, so I started Oh, oh Nurnik Academy? Like 10 minutes. Cool! My minutes. uncle, my brother actually, um, I, I do a little YouTube thing. My brother was actually on the railway all his life. Started oh, okay. off the ticket oh, okay. office to Glasgow and then ended up being um, an auditor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The train going again! How cool is that? Perfect! <laughs>